We are in Alcona Community Schools 2010 Forestry Science Class. Welcome to our Sugar Shack. We are standing here at Alcona Community Schools, which is about 120 miles north of Saginaw and 25 miles south of Alpena. Behind us is our maple syrup production facility, also known as our Sugar Shack. Our facility includes two major parts, a 960 square foot log cabin and an 856 square foot maple syrup production facility. Our agri-science program acquired the log cabin in the fall of 2005 from the school system for the purpose of constructing a maple syrup production facility. Upon acquisition of the cabin, our program began a reconstruction process which included a new roof, trim, and addition of a restroom for the building. At the same time we were making these improvements to our log cabin, we broke ground and began construction of our maple syrup production facility. Today this log cabin is used as a classroom and meeting room for AgriScience students and Alcona FFA members as well as community organizations. Our syrup production facility includes a bottling and finishing room, and an evaporation room necessary for syrup production. Uh, Corner of Famers wrote $43,000 in grants to help make construction of this facility possible. Additionally, many students and community volunteers donated their labor and time towards completion of the construction process. In 2007, after hard work and dedication, our facility was complete and ready to be put to use. Michigan's logging history and forest succession has had an influence on our ability to produce quality maple syrup. Michigan was the nation's leading lumber producer between 1869 and 1900. By 1897, over 160 billion board feet was logged from Michigan. Today, the forest has about 70 million board feet of sawed timber. When the virgin pine forest was cut, it made way for new hardwood species, such as our sugar maple, to thrive. Southeastern Canada and northeastern U.S. are the only areas in the world that can produce maple syrup. We are fortunate to live in northeastern Michigan. In order to produce syrup, we need to collect sap from trees. To tap trees, we need to understand tree identification and tap only healthy trees. We use sugar maple trees because they have the highest content of sucrose in their sap. Sucrose is a simple sugar produced by maple trees. The months of February, March, and April is the maple syrup season. Exactly when the season begins depends on geographic location and local temperature patterns. Cold nights, then warm days makes the sap flow in trees. And now we're going to show you how to tap a tree Alcona FFA style. We use an 18 volt drill with a clean and sharp 5 16 drill bit. Drill a hole on a 10 degree upward angle about 2 to 2 and a half inches deep. Insert the spile and gently tap it with a hammer until the pitch changes and the spile is secure. The number of taps is determined by the diameter of the tree. Here at Okona Community Schools, we use the following guidelines. 12 to 15 inches in diameter, one tap. 15 to 18 inches in diameter, two taps. 18 to 21 inches in diameter, three taps. 21 to 24 inches and above in diameter, four taps. There are three different types of sap collection systems we use. First, we use a bucket collecting system, which is a 16-quart galvanized bucket with a lid. Second, we use a bag collecting system, which is a strong sap sack bag hung on a sap sack holder. Third, we use a modified tube line system, which consists of sturdy tube line attached to multiple trees with gravity feeding the sap down the line into our 55 gallon barrel. To collect the sap from various locations, we use, we, we use an old 1973 C60 fire truck named Clifford. In the areas where we use the tube line system, we simply use a one horse transfer pump to move the sap from the barrels to the mobile tanks on the back of Clifford. After collecting all the sap from the school and roadside locations, we transport the sap back to the sugar shack, where this meter reads the total amount of sap we collected. 
After passing through our meter, the sap travels down to our 1,000 gallon and 400 gallon insulated bulk storage tank. The evaporating room is essentially where the sap is turned into maple syrup. It takes approximately 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of pure Michigan maple syrup. Our evaporator is a 5 by 12 foot raised flue continuous flow evaporator. It is heated by two enclosed heating sources that can burn both fuel oil and biodiesel. Our evaporator boils off approximately 125 gallons of water per hour at maximum capacity. When a sap enters the evaporator, it runs through a copper pipes, which preheats our sap. After the sap has been heated in the flue pan, it travels to the front pan, also known as the syrup pan. We know our syrup has completed the evaporation process when it reaches 219 degrees or 7 degrees above the boiling point of water. Each batch of syrup is approximately 5 to 10 gallons. To be considered pure Michigan maple syrup, it must be 66% sugar or 66 bricks. We determine when the syrup is ready by using a hydrometer. The syrup is then transferred from the storage tank below the filter press to the canning unit. Syrup needs to be at least 180 degrees when bottling to ensure that all bacteria is killed and the syrup is food grade. Here at Alcona Community Schools, when a batch is placed in the canning unit, a sample is taken in a small glass bottle and placed along the trim of our finishing room. Once the sample is taken, we then start to bottle the syrup into one of our 10 types of bottles. After the syrup has been bottled and sealed properly, it is ready to be put up for sale or put into storage for sale at a later date. After our syrup is packaged, it is coated with a batch number. Thank you for spending time with us at our Sugar Shack.